Good morning, welcome back to my channel. I'm just putting some socks on. <laughs> um, not putting hand knitted ones on today because I'm going out in the garden. Um, it was raining a little bit earlier on, uh, but it's stopped now and I thought if I could just go out there and tidy up a little bit, then it's a start. Um, a few of the seedlings that I've got are looking a little bit limp um, and I don't know whether that's because they're still inside. Um, and that they need to be outside. I don't really know. Um, we'll see. I'm waiting for a delivery of some netting. But saying that, I don't need that straight away, do I? No, so I'm, I was waiting for a delivery of some netting because um, I want to put that up the back for the, um, the taller plants to, to grow up. Um, and then... The other thing as well is I don't want the squirrels, because we have squirrels outside, foxes, cats and everything like that to get near the, the plants that are there. But I do have some um, just like, it's like, it's plastic, but it's like netting. I could put that over the top. I don't know, I'm going to go outside and tidy up and try and de-weed a few bits and pieces um, and see how I get on. Uh, and then I need to go Tesco's a little bit later, but I've been working the last few days on my Bustleton top. I absolutely love this colour, uh, the way that it's coming up and the way that it's blending from one to the other. Um, I've got this much yarn, keep saying yarn, <laughs> this much yarn left. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's another couple of, um, I think there's, so there's another two bits with the blue and then it goes into fully blue. I don't know whether I'm going to get to the fully blue bit um, because I don't want this top to be too long. Um, I want it to be long enough that I can wear with uh, like shorts and stuff um, but not too long that it's going to look weird if that makes any sense. Um, I don't even know if it's going to fit me. It it should. I'm I'm hoping that it's going to be a little bit too big so it can be more of a slouchy, just comfortable, chuck-on type of top. Um, I have actually done the armholes, not the armholes, um, the yoke a little bit shorter than what it said in the pattern because I was worried I was going to run out of yarn. Um, but as you can see, there is the the edge here and it does like my armpit is like up here so I'm hoping it, it's gonna fit okay like there's there's loads there like that goes right round my arm so yeah I'm hoping that it'll be okay I could put it on a um, cooled thing and try it on but I'm too lazy <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to carry on knitting and I've done all this work so if it doesn't fit I'm not going to want to carry on with it but if I don't know if it fits or not I'm just going to carry on <laughs> um, this is how much I've done since yesterday so I was on zoom yesterday for a little while and then did I knit any on this last night I did. I went on Zoom last night and um, I knit a little bit last night and I've done a little bit today. So I don't think that's too bad for two days progress. So this should be done by the end of the week. Um, I'm probably just going to be knitting on this. Also, I'm going to say this to make myself accountable. I have got a pair of socks here that, it's not that one, uh, that I took on holiday with me. But then realised that I've got a hole in the toe. I don't know whether it's a moth hole or something has caught it. So yeah, I've got a hole. Um, I really don't know. Uh, it's not got any worse, if that makes sense. Like there's not, it's not frayed anymore or the other sock is fine. But also the problem is I've got this black mark. So I have must have trod on something um, and it's left this black mark here it's not very nice um and I really love this colorway I think it was a woolly mummy yarn I think it was um and I do and did I did find 
the yarn, um, the rest of it. So I'm thinking of taking back um, either the, just the toe to fix this hole and then just re-knit the toe or take it all the way back to past sort of where that black mark is because these have been washed and that black mark hasn't come out um, and just re-knit the, the rest of the foot again. I do, I should have enough yarn, I think I've got like 20 grams or something so it'll be plenty to knit just that little bit there. Um, I thought I had it here but I don't think I have. It must be, I think it's on the table over there. So, but I do have enough, I have got like quite a big ball of it. Um, and I really like these socks because I've put the, um, the little frill around them so they're quite cute in Converse and trainers and stuff um, so I do want to wear these again um, I might try and um, unpick so I don't know whether to try and pick up the stitches first um, then yeah I don't know whether to pick up the stitches first then unravel it or unravel it and then pick up the stitches as I go um, I'm not sure what to do yet but that is the plan and I don't know if I'll do that today but I do want to do that at some point because <laughs> I do want these socks to be wearable um, and they are they are more of a fitted sock so you know I was saying that I was having trouble with my socks being too big and like my feet weren't really getting warm in them and stuff um, these are quite fitted to my foot so yeah I am I am hoping that I can get them finished uh, or get them repaired and I will be able to wear them and I'm going to have to knit them in the 2.5 mil because that's what I originally knit them in so I don't want one to be too small but I will try and keep an eye on my tension so yeah that's the plan um, and I'm hoping like if I'm looking at this it goes it does literally go all the way back there um, which is a bit sad the other thing that I might have to do is weigh the sock I should have enough. If I've got at least 20 grams of the the extra, I should have enough. Because I don't think I've put this in anything else. Um, and it's quite a big, big bit of extra. Anyway, that's that. Um, I do want to cast on another muscle bra as well this week. Um, but I've just really been enjoy enjoying working on one thing, like one big thing. Uh, you know, where I was doing the dice roll and doing uh, something a bit different every day. I think I go through stages where I want that variety and then sometimes I just want to knit on that one thing. Um, and that's what I'm feeling at the minute. I'm feeling I just want to knit on the one thing and obviously it works because I finished my flax and now I've nearly finished this. Um, and then I'll probably go to my... Uh, Alpine Bloom and try and get that finished. Um, so yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be able to get another couple of things um, finished. Oh, <laughs> um, so yeah. What else is happening today? Not a lot really. Um, I need to go to Tesco and get some dinner for tonight. Um, it's Wednesday today. So I'm gonna go downstairs and do some potting, planting, Oh, well I'm going to try and, and just tidy up a little bit and see how that goes and then go to Tesco, get some shopping oh I need to go and drop off them um, Amazon packages as well I'll do that while I'm out um, tomorrow I'm back at my sister's so she is going to be going out with Mike tomorrow to the cinema and for some food for her birthday she was just she just wanted some time with her and Mike um, and not the boys obviously she spends so much time with the boys um they're always with her unless they're at school and then but mike's at work so it's like there is no sort of they don't get no alone time and stuff like that so 
Um, me and Ian are going to go and babysit tomorrow evening um, while they go cinema and get something to eat and stuff. Um, oh, I'm going to get Casey a cake as well. I know she don't watch my videos, so I can say whatever I want. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to get her a cake um, and we'd, we'll probably do that on Thursday because obviously she's not around at the weekend. Um, and she's not here on Friday either, so it's not like I can even just pop on Friday because she's going... She's getting up on Friday, <coughs> and I think they're going to make their way down once she's packed the car, she's sorted herself out, and like just have a relaxed sort of pack up and, and, and get driving, I say down there, up there, uh, to Birmingham. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to stop rambling and get my self outside and see what I can do uh, I'll see if I can film any think if there's no one else out there I feel a bit weird um, I might just do it on my phone because that was fine yesterday editing uh, the footage from my phone even though it was only a little bit <laughs> um, so yeah right I'm gonna get my shoes on um, and get downstairs so I've managed to get the dead plants out of these um, I've got an empty one there that I've just emptied the whole lot out of because there was uh, lots of weeds in there and stuff. This is the greenhouse that I'm not using at the minute. Um, this is just wild. So I might just leave that and see what happens. Um, I did plant um, plants in this last year. I don't think these are weeds. I'm not sure. I'm not very green fingered. Um, and I'm not sure about this. But this was definitely what I planted last year. Um, and that over there maybe I'm really not sure this was what I planted last year and it started coming up a little bit last year but I think I planted it too late um, so it's coming back now um, I've got some other pots that are just around there this these are not these are not mine oh these are not mine but I've got some other pots around there that I've just emptied out as well so they've got all like fresh looking soil um, but I think it's still a little bit too damp to put anything out here like look at the ground it's like oh, it's horrible um but i'm hoping to have like the veg garden here um i'm hoping to do something sort of here um these are the pots that i want ian to put up to put the strawberries in and i'll get him to put like them here or on here or something uh, the wall is like this is because years ago we used to have this ivy used to go all the way around this wall this bit this is a building um and this is just a wall but it used to go all the way around all the way around um it's over there uh, against not against but on the wall where the cars are but it's looking a bit more tidy now um and this is just dead grass i don't think i'm going to be able to do anything with this um i might have to get some tiles or something um we'll see Oh, so I'm absolutely baking. It's really warm out there. It's supposed to be 17 degrees today. What is it now? It's 14 degrees. And I think because I was doing bits and pieces, that's why I'm a bit warm. Um, but I want to get Ian to um, put them pots on the wall. Because I really think them strawberries should go back outside. Because they've come from outside. I think they, they do need to go back outside. Um, and then, as you can see, I've got like that that bit of space there. Um, I am waiting on, um, it's like a fabric plant potter thing um, that I'm waiting for because I want that to hopefully put some of the veg in. Um, the thing without there, there's loads of snails and there's loads of worms and stuff. Um, I know that's normally good for plants and that, but is it good for veg? I don't know. <laughs> um, so I was thinking of getting like raised beds, not raised bed, but like plant pots with legs. I was thinking of getting some of them. Um, I'm just, I'm just still a bit unsure what to do. Uh, or even just getting them raised up a little bit. I just, I just don't know what to do yet. Um, I should have thought this through before putting seeds in, but um, there we go. That is, that's what I've done. Um, and I've got some meshing stuff that I can put up and I think because it's so close to the wall um the foxes and the cats that's that's where they walk like they 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 like to walk around edges don't they really um so 
yeah but I'm pleased that the pots that I've got are now empty um, I do normally put flowers in the ones that are by the bench out there so I might still do that I've got two round pots that I might just get some flowers to go in because the flowers would look nice um, and colourful and then try and put see the big the big black square ones that I've got I think they'll be quite good for veg because they're quite deep as well where the little terracotta ones they're not as deep um, and even putting onions in last year like I couldn't get them that deep uh, so B&M still do have them pots so I might get another couple of them pots and then line them up I think that might be um, a good idea it's just to line them up against the wall or like as close to the wall and then get the netting up um, and have it have it like that maybe uh, I don't know we'll, we'll have to see let me know what you think if you are green fingered at all <laughs> um, because I'm definitely not right I'm gonna go over Tesco it's still really early it's 20 to 12 feel I feel like I'm being productive um, so yeah, I'm going to run over Tesco, drop the Amazon packages off, and then I can sit down. I might, Ian wants chilli for dinner, so I might cook that when I get back, and then I can warm it up later when it's ready, because it takes about an hour to simmer. Um, and I don't mind doing that. Like, I hate cooking. I've, I've come to the conclusion I do really hate cooking, like, it's not my favourite thing to do. Um, and come dinner time I'm like oh I do do it obviously I do cook um, but I don't mind cooking during the day so then later on I can just warm stuff up and I think the reason behind that is because obviously when Ian comes home he just wants to sit and chill because he's been at work which is fine but it makes me just want to do that as well even though I've not really done much all day but you potter around, you do bits and pieces, and then you just want to chill. Um, where, like yesterday, I was out, I come back from my sister's, and I know it was just a put in the oven dinner, but I was already doing stuff and bits and pieces, so I didn't feel like I was relaxing. I was like, I could do that after. I don't know, I'm probably talking rubbish. Anyway, I'm going to go to Tesco, do some shopping for food, and... Uh, I'll catch you up a bit later. I'll probably I won't take you with me because do you really want to see me shopping? Probably not. <laughs> uh, and try and fight for a space outside the uh, returns shop. Well, it's it's a Londis. I think it's a Londis. It used to be, or did it used to be a Londis? can't remember it used to be one and then they changed it to something else and I still called it the old thing I can't remember now what anyway it really don't matter I'm going <laughs> and I'll catch you up later on <laughs> so you'll have to excuse that I'm in my pajamas but it's the end of the day and I think the last time I spoke to you I would just come back up from the garden I went shopping did I tell you I went shopping, I can't remember, uh, but yeah, I went shopping, I got stuff for dinner, started dinner, then me and Ian popped out after he finished work, uh, he needed to, he got called out, and um, so I just quickly went with him, and then we came back, we had dinner, um, I've been on Zoom this evening, I've knitted lots on my top, um, I absolutely love it, look how it is looking, um, I'm so happy with it. I have got my uh, summer sorrel out because I want to make it the same length and uh, I thought just holding it up against to get a rough idea. But look at the way these colours have worked up. Um, this yarn is um, this one here. It's a bit creased up now but it's this one. Yarn Art Flowers and it's um, the 55% cotton and 45% acrylic. Hopefully that will focus. Um, yeah, so that is the fibre of the yarn. And while we was on Zoom tonight, we was looking on the website. <laughs> um, and they do that one that is 100% acrylic. And uh, my lovely friend Sue has recently bought three of them. 
oh, they are gorgeous. They're so nice and they've got so many different colours um, in them. And uh, it, they're 250 gram and they are a thousand metres. So really, really good. And I'm easily getting a top out of this. Uh, as you can see, I have, if you didn't know, I've already... Um, bound off for the sleeves. I've done the sleeves that were on the ranunculus so basically just a bound off and then the next row you add for the underarm. Um, but I just love the way the colours are coming out. At first I wasn't too sure about the stripes like in the pink up here. I was like oh I'm not really sure but the more I've, I've knit on it and the stripes are coming out I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm going to hold it up against my sorrel again because I've knit sort of near enough this whole bottom stripe here um, this evening really. So I need to hold it up against that again, see how far uh, I've got to go. And this is how much yarn I've got left. Um, so I've got another bit that has got a white in it and then it goes into the blue. I don't know whether I'm going to be going into this solid blue because obviously I don't want it too long um, and I don't know whether it's just worth putting it on a longer cable. I don't know. Uh, I might just hold it up against the sorrel because I know that is a nice length and it's comfortable. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to carry on with this. I'm going to watch uh, Mandy's video uh, that she's uploaded today and then probably go to bed. So I probably won't edit this tonight. I will edit this in the morning um, and get it uploaded tomorrow. So yeah, uh, tomorrow we are going to my sister's because uh, she's going out for a birthday. I explained all this earlier on, I'm sure I did. Hopefully the first clip of this video is there. <laughs> Let's hope my camera is not decided just to randomly delete stuff. Um, I don't know what happened yesterday. It just... I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> I was looking for it and I was like, where's it gone? Why is that not there? Um, never mind. So... Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye.